One of the problems with trauma is that people feel like a victim. And what I want to offer to you is that it's important to get out of victim mode. Going along with everything we're talking about with this first step of manifesting love, you need to get out of victim mode. And why is that? For the same reason that I was just saying. It's because our outside experiences are a reflection of our inner reality. So if you identify as a victim, you will manifest experiences and oppor- not oppor- experiences and people that will reflect that you are a victim. So once again, the way that you get out of victim mode is to first acknowledge, okay, I've been identifying as a victim. You want to go from victim mode to thriving mode. So you can do that compassionate self-forgiveness with that. I forgive myself for buying into the misbelief that I'm a victim. What is the truth? I am a beautiful being that is worthy of everything in this life. I am empowered. I am strong. And I'm not going to let my past determine my future. It's about making that choice. So, and Michael has talked about this also already. Make that choice to start today to say, okay, this happened to me, this happened to me, this happened to me. This was up. This sucked. I did not sign up for this. But what am I going to do about it? And then you have that moment. You have that tender moment with yourself. And you say, okay, this is the day that I'm going to start. Because it doesn't, might not happen overnight. It takes practice. But this is the day that I'm going to start to start loving myself more and not identifying as a victim. Because I know what's on the other side of this. And what's on the other side of this is freedom. What's on the other side of this is love, pure love, the love that is meant for me. So let's move on from, I'm kind of keeping track of time, but not really. So Michael, just give me a little shout out if you need to. Um, And like I said, I don't know if we're going to get to every step. There's, I mean, this is a 200 and something page book that I wrote. So I'm trying to pack it all in. Um, But another very important part of manifesting, of courageously manifesting, is forgiveness. And we were talking about compassionate self-forgiveness. Forgiving yourself. Forgiving yourself for anything that you've ever done. Because that's really what loving, unconditionally loving yourself is. It's, I forgive myself. No, I love myself no matter what. And I forgive myself. It's also about forgiving the other people in your life. And I know that that is, seems so hard to do. And I'm sure you guys If you're here, I'm guessing you've dabbled with some sort of therapy. Maybe not. It is so hard to do. This doesn't mean you have to be best friends with this person or you ever have to see this person again. 